My name is uh, Michael Straub. Uh, we are here at the Rechtster Isar Medical Center, which is the university hospital of the Technical University in Munich. I'm a senior urologist in the department and I'm head of the endourology and stone center. We deal with about 3,500 inpatient cases per year, oncologic ones and endourological ones, but also with 4,500 outpatient cases. The first patient here had uh, cystography after radical prostatectomy. And uh, in the first uh, picture, he had leakage, and so this was a follow-up control today after uh, 15 days. In uh, the picture, you see a small leakage here, and uh, we had to check for the localization. Uh, therefore, we did a lateral picture too, which showed us that the localization was right dorsal. Fortunately, this leakage was very small and uh, we could remove the catheter after the cystography. In this case, with the cystography, it is very important to have an AP and a lateral projection of the bladder. I can move the C-arm automatically with the uh, motorization and so I get an AP and a lateral projection of the bladder uh, in a very comfortable way. I was very happy with the image quality. We had good contrast between the bladder and the tissue surrounding and so we could detect this minimal leakage after radical prostatectomy. We had uh, the suspicion of small leakage and here we could document it and the zoom enabled us to see that the, the leakage is only on the right side. In this case we had a patient with prostate cancer and due to this obstruction of both kidneys so he needed nephrostomy tubes for uh, urine drainage. The patient had bilateral nephrostomy so to get from the one side to the others I uh, opened the brake button and then I could very comfortably move the C-arm from the right to the left kidney and continue the change of the tubes. During this change, periversation occurred. This periversation was very well documented here on this picture where you can see the structure of the collecting system very fine differentiated from the paralyzation behind the renal pelvis. This patient here had a big colorectal tumor which can be seen by the position of the two JJ stents which were inserted due to technical reasons. The patient awaits big surgery for the tumor and therefore the surgeons asked us as urologists to place stents inside for safety of the ureter during surgery. For imaging of the complete urinary tract, which means here the bladder in this image and the kidney region in the next image, the CS alpha allows movement of the flat detector over the patient by releasing here one of the brakes and then you can move the flat detector to the kidney region either or to the bladder region. For an endourologist, it is very important to have the endoscopic image and the fluoro image on one or two screens in the same view because you have uh, 
to work with both pictures simultaneously for stand placement or for placement of tubes. This is very comfortable for uh, efficient work in the OR. For case documentation, which gets more and more important in these days, we are very happy that we have the fluoro pictures and the endoscopy pictures available in the file of the patient. In urology, it's always a challenge uh, to get an image of the complete urinary tract. It is very smart to enlarge the field of view that you have the possibility to get into oblique position by a motorized movement of the C-arm. The result of this feature of the CS Alpha you see on this X-ray picture depicted in a young 34-year-old patient. You have here the renal collecting system with the upper calyx and then you can see the ureter down into the pelvis just to the upper edge of the bladder. Fortunately, we could save dose for this young female patient by bringing in the collimation from both sides to the ideal position, which is in this case a asymmetric one. In an emergency case where I have to check for obstruction, it is very important for me to have good quality images to get the information very fast. This is an ideal uh, example for a patient where obstruction was suspected and with only two or three shots we got the information that he had calicial anomalia but no obstruction. The system of CS Alpha gave us a very high quality of the images and so enabled us to do a fast diagnosis and effective treatment in this patient. This uh, flat panel offers you a big field of view uh, of the kidney region and of the bladder so that you have comfortable conditions for a PCNL. For your retro-rhinoscopy, you need uh, direct uh, fluoro control and uh, the easy movement of the CS alpha allows easily to have uh, this control during the intervention. I think that it is a very helpful uh, tool for an effective uh, urethrorhinoscopy. After 15 years of experience in endourology, I worked with uh, lots of different C-arm systems and uh, in my opinion the CS Alpha system is a very comfortable one with uh, respect to imaging quality and flexibility of movement in the OR. So I think that it offers all possibilities you need in modern endourology.